Encanto is set in Colombia, which is really special because it's the first time Walt Disney Animation Studios has ever set a film in Colombia. And parts of the animation in the film look like the country of Colombia. One of the things I think is so special about Walt Disney Animation is nothing is by mistake. Everything is chosen and carefully crafted. That part where Mirabel and Abuela are in that river and the river is magically all these beautiful colors of the rainbow, that exists. You could actually visit it in real life. One of the coolest things about Encanto is that there are all these little gifts inside the movie and one of them is the sound of the music and another is an introduction to Colombian food. Food. And both of those things are a huge part of Colombian culture. One of the best songs I think in the film is Carlos Vives singing Colombia Me Encanto. And it's a jam. I mean, most of the time when the credits are rolling at the end of Encanto, if you look around, a lot of little kids are moving and dancing. I read that Disney Animation Studios was doing a movie set in Colombia with music by Lin-Manuel Miranda, directed by Jared Bush and Byron Howard. As a Walt Disney Animation Studios fan, I was psyched. I got an audition for the role of Luisa, which is played beautifully in the film by a different actress. For my audition, I sang You're Welcome from Moana, another Disney song written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. I guess something that I brought to the table was funny enough for Byron and Jared to think of me as possibly playing Mirabelle. And I think I made them laugh because I didn't take it too seriously. I sort of thought about what I would like to see in a Disney heroine. And for me, one of the things that I love about Walt Disney Animation is the use of humor in the movies. And so I had what in our industry is called a callback. I was really nervous, I wore my lucky Dress, and then they told me that I'd gotten it. I remember kind of going like, Byron and Jared thought my screen had frozen, but really I was just kind of frozen in time because I thought this big dream that I had from the time that I was a kid like actually is coming true. It was just like the most thrilling moment of my life, I think, thus far. <laughs> I'm also married and I've had a baby, so I guess it'll come in second and third. Sorry about it. Recording the songs for Encanto was really fun. I was in early labor when I was recording Mirabel solo, but I was able to go into that booth. It was a really, really magical day because I was able to focus so intensely on the thing that I like. I was sort of able to take that energy and power and belief in myself into having a kiddo and everything turned out a-okay. I learned a lot about myself by playing Mirabelle. Mirabelle and I have a lot in common. And she's just pretty much who I was at 15. Very unsure of herself, trying really hard to fit in, sort of looking at the world and not really knowing where she belongs and whether or not she has anything to bring to the table or has a gift even to share. Always feels like an outsider kind of looking in and deep inside I think a lot of us are worried a lot of the time that maybe we're not enough. I think Mirabelle's journey through the film is her realizing that she is enough. In fact, she's more than enough and that her family really sees that. They see how bright she burns. They see how brave she's been and they're telling her like, you are the gift. It's simply by being you. I think a lot of people see themselves in the Madrigal family. And I definitely see a lot of my own family there. I see my mom in Abuela because my mom had a lot of responsibility. I see myself, funny enough, Luisa, buckle and bend but never break. Oh my gosh, that song really speaks to me. In fact, almost every time I listen to it, I start like this and I end up weeping, usually in my car. And Lin-Manuel has spoken about how he really wrote that song also as a bit of a love letter to his older sister because it took him a really long time to realize what kind of pressure she was under. All of the experience from beginning to end felt magical. One of my hopes, and I think much of the artistic team's hopes, is that when families and people walk away from this film, they will be inspired to talk about their own family dynamics with each other. And I think that that's really, really important to do, and it's difficult. You watch how painful it can be, how difficult it is for the Madrigal family. If you're open to communicating about yourself and your journey with your family, it can be really healing. 
The fact that Encanto won Best Animated Feature is really special to everyone that worked on it. I think in particular, one of our producers, Yvette Marino, she's the first Latina who's ever won as a producer for an animated film, and she won't be the last. This movie is set in Colombia, and it's about a Colombian family. And yet, as you've seen in the film, Colombians can look all sorts of different ways. It's this moment to really take a step back and reflect on what Latinidad looks like. It's a reminder to us to be open to the ideas of who people are rather than sort of labeling people right away and then putting them in a box and putting that box back on the shelf. We're part of this much bigger thing that really does function in a lot of ways as a family. We've got to have each other's backs, you know, because the world is changing in this wonderful way where it's reflecting back to us the people that actually live in the world and all the ways that they look, all the places that they come from. And if we can get to know each other better, I think we'll have each other's backs even more.